Hello Tab Nation! Today we're going to be doing another showcase because I know you guys love that. Of course with any showcase that means I'm not really going to be covering much code. I'm just going to kind of show you how the stuff works. That way you can just grab it, manipulate it how you want. A lot of the code I've already covered in a lot of other videos. But if you do have a question, definitely hit me up in the comments below. Today we got five scripts coming at you. So let's jump into that. Well, not the code, but just jump into the video, I guess. Alrighty then, shall we get started? So the first one is actually a script I made myself just for fun of it. If you're ever on Facebook AHK or Reddit, uh, subreddit AHK, you know like some of the posts are pretty bad. The people don't even try, they demand you do something, they give you no information. So I made this rating system. So here's the code. It's only like 73 lines of code. Nothing really you need to manipulate. But if you do have any recommendations on how I could expand this, I definitely would love to see that. So let's give an example here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and we're going to get an error here. Why is that? Did I not comment out something? I did not. There we go. Forgot to comment that first line out there. And I'll put a link in the description below, obviously, to all these uh, scripts for you. And most of them, I believe, are from script mine, except for one of them. So I'm going to go ahead and press F1. I'm going to get this GUI here. And it's basically just asking me some questions about whatever post I'm looking at. And we're going to give them a grade. You know, did they demand a comment? Did they say, I need a comment? Uh, did they include any code? Did they thank you? Did they give you actually the info you really needed? Uh, you know, hey, I need these steps. Step one, press this button. Step two, move over here and close this window kind of thing. Did they read the rules of the posting? Obviously, that's a big one where people don't really post their code correctly or just, you know, they try to ask for PVP rule. Uh, you know, that's against the rule, that kind of stuff. And did they tell us the steps that they have already tried, showing that they actually did try versus just, hey, make me a script. So we'll just click one. We'll say, hey, they're maybe not a demand. They said I need. They didn't include any code, but they did thank us. Uh, they gave us the info. They didn't read the rules. Obviously, it's not formatted correctly, but they did tell us the steps that they already took. So we at least kind of know they might have tried. So we're now going to go ahead, push score now, and this little edit box is going to go. This post scored a 71%. So not a great, great grade, but I've seen worse where people give you no information. They just demand and say, I need. And that would obviously score pretty low, like a, you know, well, let's say they thank you or something. That would score pretty low at a 28%. That's pretty bad. So this is just something I made for fun. You know, if you guys have any recommendations on how to expand what should be in a post versus not how you ask one, definitely let me know in the comments below. Like I said, this one was just kind of, more of a fun thing to do. <laughs> uh, hopefully you find it useful and can use it sometime. I would love to see someone actually rate a post if it was bad. See how the uh, OP uh, really reacts to it. All right, let me close that script down. Uh, all right, we're going to open the capture part of screen. Now there is one part of code I do need to show you on here. You do need to download a video, or not a video, another uh, like AHK library. And you're just going to need to put the file path of where it is here. I just put it on my desktop. It's called gdip uh, underscore all dot ahk. This will be blank when you get the code. Like it'll look like that. You just need to add the file path of where that library is being stored. You know, pretty simple. That's the only code you really should need to try or uh, mess with. But let's go ahead and launch that. So let's say I want to take a uh, snapshot of my uh, tab nation here. Or actually, let's do code. So I'm going to highlight the code and it's going to automatically just follow my mouse around. This is useful if you're on like an auto hotkey site and you need to see the syntax and then type your code and you're like, ah, oh, what was that syntax again? And you're like jumping back and forth. This is a great way just to have like an image follow you of information. So now I could go to like another script and I can like sit there and see like what I did in the last script. This is really cool. Uh, if you want to save it, you can just push Control S, or sorry, I think it's Alt S. Let's see. Yeah, okay. And then we'll just name it test. So it is Control S. 
and hold on. Oh, where'd it go? Still trying to figure this one out. Yeah, but Control S should save it. For some reason, it did save temporarily, but then disappeared. I'll look into the code there a little deeper to see. But this is mostly, I use this a lot just for this follow mouse image for jumping back between code so that I can just remember the information I need without, you know, because a lot of times I forget. I'm like, oh, I got to go back to Chrome and Alt tab over. So it's really useful. And then you just press F1 to get rid of it. So I found that one useful uh, for coding, especially. Next up is spell check. Spell check is just spell check. Now, a lot of you are going to say, well, you know, most programs have spell check built into them. That is correct. But I have ran into sometimes when I'm filling out like a form or something. I know at my uh, previous job, when we would fill out like these uh, reviews, they didn't have spell check in them at all. So that was kind of annoying. I had to do everything in Word first and then copy and paste it over. So this is kind of when you reach a scenario where there is no spell check. So let's say I'm going to misspell the word chat. I'm going to spell it uh, C-A-H-T. And when I go to spell, uh, push spacebar or enter or whatever, it automatically fixes it to chat. And there is an insane amount of words that the person who created this you know, put a lot of effort into this. I mean, look at this. It starts at, let's see where it starts. Whew. It starts, uh, I guess, around here, yeah, like uh, word endings and stuff. Yeah, so it starts, like, close to line 200, and then it goes almost to line uh, 5,300. So it has a lot. But if you want you can just add your own you know just in the same format as here these are called hot strings i did a video about them if you don't really understand what this is um, you're just putting the misspelled word here with the correct one here so you can add as many as you want but i mean there's a insane amount already in there so it's awesome and uh yeah i like that I i'm a horrible speller so it's nice to have a spell check in those areas where a spell check just is not provided all right, let's close that. View hidden files. I find this very useful because a lot of times I forget how to do this. And whenever I'm modding something like Minecraft or I need to get to a save file, <clears throat> a lot of those files are hidden, especially in like app data. So let's go ahead and launch that one. Uh, let's just, uh, okay, this should be fine. Uh, so this is my hard drive. You know, these are the files that are normally visible to the average user. Everybody can see them. But there are hidden files here that are just, you know, invisible. Let's say I need to see them. I'm just going to press F1. And it sometimes takes a few seconds to load. But as you see, now there's a lot more. And they're the ones that are kind of grayed out a little bit. So there's like, there's program data. That's normally not visible. So I can go in there and now see all that stuff that I need. And then, I'm, you know, once I'm done, I want to clean this up. I, want, I only want to see what I need normally. I'm just going to press F1 again. Takes a few seconds and there it disappears. So that one's really cool. Just because a lot of times I forget how to unhide them myself and I have to Google it uh, from time to time. So I really like that one. Give me a second to close that one out. What was the last one? Ah, yes. I've seen this asked a few times. I actually just helped someone out with this one uh, today. So I thought it was very useful. It took me a second to really get this figured out. But sometimes you have a need where you know you want to move your mouse directly across the x or the y axis human that's really hard to do honestly i can see this being useful in like video games or in like photoshop or something where you need to draw a straight line and it's hard to do this helps out a lot it's pretty cool so we'll run that so right here you can see my mouse is you know kind of all over the place here. Kind of hard to see my mouse. I just realized that. <laughs> uh, let me open Notepad. It might make it a little bit easier since I'm not in dark mode there. Ow, ow. Yeah, now you can see my mouse a little better. So um, I'm going to go ahead, you know, moving my mouse all around. Let's say I want to draw a straight line, you know, here. 
and push F12. And now my mouse is locked. I'm trying, see, I'm trying to move it. You can't really see, but I'm trying to move it to the left, now to the right. It won't let me. I'm locked. Just up and down. Really cool. Press F12 again. Now I'm free. Now if we want to do the other one, F11. See, back and forth. See, I'm trying to go up, trying to go down. I can't. So this is really cool. I like that a lot. So, and then once you're done, you can just push F1 to exit. Double tapped it there so it opened up the new window. Uh, F1. Now obviously you can change these hotkeys to whatever you want. If you don't like F12, F11, and F1, change them whatever you want. I, I definitely could see somebody, you know, doing like one of your extra mouse buttons for these would probably be the best place to use the hotkey for. And if you don't know how to find out what the buttons, uh, you know, called in this uh, in AHK, I did do a video on how to get that information, and uh, I'll link that in the description below. Also, just in case you do use this program and you want to use one of your mouse keys or a joystick or something. All right. I love doing these videos. Apparently, you guys love it when I do them. So if you have a script that you think should be used that I haven't done in one of my showcases yet, definitely hit me up in the comments below. You know, Let me know if it's your script or just someone else's that you use. And maybe on the next one, I will throw it in there and other people will find it useful. And if you're not part of the nation, definitely hit that subscribe button, that like button because it helps me out. And that notification because I'm throwing, you know, one or two videos every week at you. Also, check out my community tab that I now have. I ask questions on there. I recently just asked a question of, like, what kind of videos do you guys want to see next? So I definitely would like to see some responses there. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one.